Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with butter crust pastry dough. That's right, you came, you saw, you demanded that I make this dough you saw in the apple hand pie video. And I'm more than happy to oblige since this is by far my new favorite pastry dough, so impossibly flaky and crunchy and awesome that I need to share. But first, the bad news, you need one of these. This technique really is designed for a food processor. Theoretically, you can do this by hand, but it's just way, 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 way harder. And we'll talk about that in the blog. But for now, we're going to add one cup of flour into the bottom, and then we're going to toss in the star of the show and the most important ingredient and secret to this technique, frozen butter chunks. So I took one stick of butter, which is a half a cup of butter. I cut it into 16 pieces, which is cutting it in half, and then in half, and then in half, and then in half. Man, I hope I got that right. There's nothing worse than an angry math troll. But anyway, I cut the stick of butter into 16 pieces. I put it in the freezer for at least a half hour until it was rock hard. And I'm going to scatter that on top of that first cup of flour. And then I'm going to top that with a second cup of flour. That's right. I like to sandwich my frozen butter. And I'm not sure if that's absolutely necessary. But you know what? I'm not taking any chances. Okay? We're also going to need some sugar. So I'm going to put in a spoon of sugar. And of course some salt. We're going to throw the lid on our food processor. And we're going to pulse on and off for, I'm going to say, I don't know, maybe a minute and what we're trying to do is we're trying to break up that frozen butter into nice small pieces. So lots of short little pulses, just on and off, on and off. And of course I'm editing this. It wasn't as quick as it looks here, but it doesn't take long. Like I said, maybe about a minute of pulsing. So let me take the lid off and show you what it should look like after this first phase. There you go. So you can see there, it kind of looks like a crumb. All right, you got tons of little pieces of butter. You got some medium pieces of butter and a few larger pieces of butter. That's fine. So you want to pulse yours on and off till it looks like that. And at that point, we're going to introduce the water. But not just any water, ice water, ice cold water. Keeping that butter really cold is the key. So we're going to drizzle that in. We're going to put the lid back on and we're going to pulse again. Only this time we're going to let those pulses go a little longer. And this actually is in real time. So let it run for a few seconds, turn it off. Let it run for another few seconds, turn it off. And what's going to happen from the side view, it's going to turn from this sort of white floury mixture into sort of a butter colored crummy mixture. It'll almost look like breadcrumbs. So when you see that, turn it off and let's look at what we have. And yes, I realize this looks nothing like pastry dough yet, but check it out. If you squeeze it together, dough, one more time, crumbs, squeeze, dough, all right? But you're not done. I want you to take your spatula and I want you to give it a good scraping. There's going to be some spots that are a little stickier than others, like around the blades and around the corners and edges. So I want you to check every crack and crevice and then give it one last quick pulse. And that butter crust pastry dough is pretty much together. And I know you're still highly skeptical, but that's fine. At that point, I want you to dump it on some kind of work surface. I'm using a big baking mat, but anything will work. And you're definitely going to want to remove that blade. Otherwise, this next step is going to be much more painful. And then we're simply going to squeeze this together. And you're going to be shocked that basically this cold pile of buttery crumbs is going to come together into the most beautiful, supple pastry dough you've ever had the pleasure to feel. All right, it's going to be tacky enough for you to kind of pick up all the loose crumbs. So just bring it together, pat it together, keep doing that till you have a nice, smooth disc. Something like that. And at that point, you can't use it yet. I want you to wrap it in plastic. And I want you to refrigerate this at least minimum one hour. All right, a few hours is better. Overnight, great, no problem. And of course, as your dough is chilling, prep whatever fillings you're using. That is just good time management. And once your dough has chillaxed, you're ready to use. If you cut that batch in half, you will have exactly enough for one large pie. All right, one half for the bottom crust, one half for the top crust. Of course, I made apple turnovers, apple hand pie, so I used a quarter of the dough, which I formed into a little disc and then rolled out. You saw that, right? And because this dough has such a high butter content and relatively high water content, it is extremely easy to use. Definitely helps that it's cold, but that will roll out beautifully. It won't crack around the outside, around the outside, around the outside, like so many drier pastry doughs do. So this dough proves you don't have to sacrifice moisture to get flakiness. So of course you can use this for any pastry dough application. Of course, it's awesome for sweet pastries, but it also made for an amazing duck and parsnip pot pie. Do you ever have one of those? Hopefully, I'll show you sometime in the future. That was really good. But anyway, I'm assuming you saw these amazing apple hand pies. And if you did see that video as I was biting into these, you probably were thinking, sure, that looks flaky and awesome, but I wonder if it really is. Well, listen to this. Oh yeah, 
I think I've made my point. So this really was amazing. And what's the secret? I told you, the frozen butter. And not just that it's frozen, that it represents like a third of the weight of the dough. That's right, 33% of this dough is butter. So there really is no mystery as to why it's so amazing and tender and flaky and delicious. So I really, really do hope you give this a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.